Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Today I'm back with another haul. This one's gonna be super quick. I just made a stop by Trader Joe's to pick up a couple of ingredients to tide me over till next week when I'm able to make it to Sprouts, which is where I do the bulk of my shopping. As of late, I picked up some more Medjool dates and the ones from Trader Joe's are very affordable. This clamshell was, I think, $4.99 and there's a ton of them in here and these are really good quality dates. I've never had any from Trader Joe's that are dry or have any bugs in them, so this is a good place to get them. I got some more bananas. Recently, I've really been loving pancakes made of just one ripe banana, a cup of rolled oats, and then a cup of any type of non-dairy milk you want to use. I've been using almond milk. You just whir that up in a blender and it makes a really amazing batter that is good for waffles or pancakes and it's just so delicious and very filling. I also grabbed a bag of jazz apples to use in juices and to grate into my oatmeal in the morning. I also grabbed a two pound bag of mandarins and recently I've just really been loving these and having them in my house at all times. They're just so sweet. If you watch my empties video, you'll know that I always have romaine lettuce in my fridge. I eat a full head of this pretty much every time that I eat baked potato fries or a potato hash. Tonight I'm wanting to make a sort of peanut sauce stir fry and so I grabbed some red and green bell peppers as well as some green onions. I like using green onions instead of yellow or red ones anytime I'm making an Asian sort of themed dish. Also for that stir fry, I got some more peanut butter I had run out. This is just crunchy unsalted, and the only ingredient in here are dry roasted peanuts, which I like to see. I thought I would add some tofu to the stir fry. I don't do a lot of tofu, honestly. I prefer tempeh texturally and flavor-wise, but I was curious to try the sprouted variety of tofu. Whenever I cook tofu, I really like the outsides to be nice and firm and golden brown, so either I will bake them at a sort of high temperature on a non-stick baking mat, or I will put a little bit of spray oil in a non-stick pan and just make sure all of the outsides are brown. I think that just improves the texture a lot. I don't really like the mushiness of tofu as is. I was really curious to try these Murasaki sweet potatoes. These are the kind that have the purple skin and they have white flesh inside. They're supposed to be similar to sweet potatoes, but they have a um, more chestnutty flavor, slightly fluffy texture, and it's good for sweet or savory dishes. I actually read about these on the Potato Cleanse Facebook group, and someone said that they tasted like eating cheesecake, so I was really curious, needless to say, and I have some baking up in the oven right now because I was so curious to try them. I just grabbed my little Murasaki sweet potato fries out of the oven, and I actually overdid them a little bit because I got distracted talking to you guys, but I'm still gonna try them. Those are actually really good, and I am not the hugest fan of sweet potatoes to begin with. I would definitely repurchase those. I think they're only going to be available for a limited amount of time at Trader Joe's, so I would recommend them. They definitely are super fluffy on the inside, and I definitely do detect that like chestnutty sort of flavor. Oh, okay, now my mouth won't stop watering. Okay, moving on. I've been wanting to experiment with making my own homemade granola, so I picked up a few ingredients. I picked up some raw slivered almonds, as well as some raw pumpkin seeds. I also picked up some golden raisins, just to mix it up. I've never had the golden variety. And I picked up a huge bag of rolled oats for the granola. I'm gonna try to make a version that's much healthier than the kind you would find at the store, which typically has a lot of sugar and added oil. The last three things I picked up are totally random. I grabbed this 21 Seasoning Salute. The spices at Trader Joe's are so, so affordable. I believe that they're all around $2. And this is just a mixture of 21 spices. The, f the primary ones are onion, black pepper, celery seed, and lots of other herbs. So I really like having pre-blended spices like this, otherwise, for every single recipe that I make, I'm pretty much always pulling out onion and garlic and basil. So it's just nice to have them mixed up. Also grabbed a can of spray coconut oil. I like to have this on hand for baking, for making pancakes, and also to oil my cutting board. And I prefer to use coconut oil because it's stable at higher temperatures and also I just like the flavor the best. It just has a really buttery, mild flavor that I enjoy. Very last, I got another carton of this soy creamer that I showed in my empties video. I know this isn't a health food, but it's one of my sort of guilty pleasures and I like adding a splash of this to my coffee, decaf coffee or tea. I have 
a tea right here. This is the last of the sugar cookie sleigh ride tea that I bought during the holiday season from Celestial Seasoning, and this is just so delicious. That's everything I bought. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. Let me know if there's anything interesting that I should try at Trader Joe's next time I'm there. I know they have a lot of random vegan like desserts and other options there. So I might look into those and do like a taste test or something in the future. If you love vegan food and cooking and lifestyle as much as I do, I hope that you'll subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.